Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel in this session we will see how we can test the speaker it is a very simple but today we will see a special test for a speaker how we can verify set multimeter to ohms to check resistance and now check the multimeter accuracy it is 0.2 ohm the resistance of the leads it is 0.2 ohm connect multimeter now across the terminals of the speaker it is open circuit this speaker is not giving any resistance check the other one it is measuring 7.7 ohm minus 0.2 ohm error 7.5 ohm the coil resistance and it is 8 ohm 10 watt speaker so we can say it is within the range if we check this one it is open circuit if any speaker is giving open circuit check the connections here sometimes at this point it is dry solder or at this point it is dry solder or sometime from this point it is open it is open this one is giving resistance now after testing with resistance then we can check also with the continuity in this way it will give a tone and it is giving approximate resistance that is 7 to 8 ohm in resistance mod it will give its accurate resistance that is 7.8 ohm minus 0.2 ohm the accuracy so 7.6 7.5 ohm that's good now we will check its performance so that when we will apply a audio power signal will it move properly will it generate a proper sound for that purpose i am using a 6 ohm resistance you can use 5 ohm to 22 ohms that is a good way and i will use a 10 volt signal Now I will connect this resistance in series with this voltage. The speaker it have a positive and negative input. At the terminal here it is a marking. Now I will connect the negative voltage the return line to the negative side and I will give these resistored voltage to the positive terminal and now we will verify the movement of the diaphragm when I will apply apples the diaphragm must move outward from its central position when I will remove the signal then it must return back to its original position so this movement is good now I will reverse the leads I will connect the ground line to the positive terminal of the speaker and now we will see the diaphragm must move inside when I will connect this positive 10 volt resistor voltage it must go inside from its this position and when I will remove the signal it must return back to its original position you can use 5 volt without resistor but it is the best way to use a resistor so that it will save it will not damage the coil and if I will use 10 volt if I will connect for a long time it will damage the speaker directly so it is the best practice to use a resistor in series with speaker now we can see the movement will strong because it will generate a strong magnetic field in the coil so the magnetic field of this permanent magnet and magnetic field from its coil from this electromagnet these will oppose or attract to each other when these will oppose at that time the diaphragm will move outside when the both magnetic fields will opposite to each other at that time they will attract in that case 
the diaphragm will move inside so this vibration this movement will generate a sound we can also use uh, audio tone generator sine wave generator to test the function of the speaker I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh